Tonight we've learned Austin Public Health is expanding COVID-19 vaccination eligibility. Austin health officials say they believe certain caregivers should qualify, but as KXAN's Every Travis reports, that is not how the state sees it. Sissy Sanders has been visiting her mom several times a week in her South Austin nursing home, thanks to her status as a designated family caregiver. You can go inside your loved one's room. You do not have to maintain six feet of distance as an essential caregiver. You can sit right next to them. And that's why she was thrilled to get a notification from Austin Public Health. She was now eligible for a vaccine, despite not meeting the age requirements or having an underlying health condition. She didn't think she qualified as a health care worker, but an APH spokesperson told KXAN they've made internal adjustments to recognize the role these caregivers are playing in the health care system, per their understanding of the state's vaccine guidelines. Austin Public Health is is seeing the importance of of closing that whole loop kind of safety net around the nursing home resident. But a spokesperson for the state health department told us they don't see how these caregivers fit into the definition of who is currently eligible, which is why Mary Nichols, whose mom lives in a nursing home outside of Dallas, has not been contacted. This cannot be the norm for long-term care residents from now on. She's the leader of the group who pushed for the essential family caregiver plan from the start. But now she's sending letters to lawmakers begging them to come up with a post-vaccine plan to resume normal visits in nursing homes. We do not want essential caregivers to become the norm. That was a temporary solution. Avery Travis, KXAN News. So far, CVS Pharmacy and Walgreens have finished administering the first round of vaccine doses at skilled nursing facilities throughout Texas. They're now in the process of vaccinating the assisted living facilities enrolled in the federal program. Under state rules, a long-term care facility resident is allowed to have two designated essential family caregivers. Visits are limited to one at a time. It can't last longer than two hours unless the facility makes an accommodation. The visit can happen outside, in the resident's room or in an area where there isn't much foot traffic. Essential caregivers don't have to keep their distance from the person they're visiting, but they do have to wear a mask at all times. And it's up to the facility to create a COVID-19 testing plan for the caregivers to follow.